Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and let's chat about Mad Honey. So this book was published in 2022. So of course I am a little late on this, but I just got my hands on it and I wanted to make a video about it. So a little bit about the book here, a soul stirring novel about what we choose to keep from our past and what we choose to leave behind. From the number one New York Times bestselling author, I wish you were here, and the bestselling author of She's Not There. There's a lot to unpack in this book. One, I love the title of the book. I love the meaning behind the bee colony. So Olivia is um, a beekeeper. That's her profession. And she tells the story of her work profession and how you know, bee culture is related to humans and how we interact and act around each other, whether it's like being threatened and how these behaviors kind of relate to us. So I love learning about the bee culture as well and how it kind of just ties into the story. Two, um, the author mentions about Bob Ross. So even though it's supposed to be like considered a like, insult because one of the characters was saying uh, something negative about another character and they were kind of comparing them to Bob Ross. So nothing bad about Bob Ross, but I just love that the author mentioned about Bob Ross because he is like, to me, like the godfather of like ASMR. Um, and another uh, thing that the author mentioned in the book is about Hawaiian pizza. So I know there's like a controversy about like, if uh, pineapple should be on pizzas or not. And I'm in the camp that says pineapple should be on, on the pizza. And I would even take it a step further by saying, you know, I think pepperoni pizza, and if you put pineapple on it, is like extra good. But don't come at me for those who are like purists when it comes to pizza. Um, I love the dialogues between everybody. I think it's very realistic um, and very real, especially when it's the dialogue between like the mom and the brother, the mom and her son. Um, I love that her mom, um, the son's mom, Olivia, doesn't hold back. Like she will be honest with him, but honest in a way that he can understand. Um, there's also a... Um, quote in the book that I would like to read to you. So it says, um, you're the one who gets to decide who you're going to be. You don't have to be like your father. Or for me, I would say like insert something, replace it with father, right? Because I feel like um, we have this pressure of comparing ourselves to other people or like we have to follow in our family's footsteps. And so this quote to me just kind of reminds me of like, hey, we are our own person. We can make our own paths. You know, if someone wants to follow, for example, in like a family business, great. If they don't, they want to forge their own path. I think that's also okay too. So just a reminder for us, like, hey, it's okay if we don't uh, kind of follow the norms a little bit here. There are some um topics that are very triggering um although i may not agree with some of the topics that are discussed in this book um i just wanted to point out you know it is a little triggering but i think it's great that the author brings up these um issues um and then there is a character that i you know wasn't really a fan of her name is selena um, I just felt like from her comments in the books and like her attitude, it just feels like she's a very like cynical and like a negative person. And so like if that was like someone in real life that I had to be around with, for me, I would probably just like kind of like mm, either not keep my distance, but just kind of like in doses. I just need this person in doses. So that was like my opinion of Selena in, in the book. Uh, I love that the author also includes um, some recipes in the back of the book here. So um, I will also like put it up on the screen, but just like this is so cool that the author includes this because these recipes 
do play like a significant, not a significant role in Olivia's life, but just like it definitely helps her like with her like therapy and things like that. So there's a like there is a reason why these recipes are in the back of her book. So um, I did really enjoy reading this book. Again, it's, it's a lot of heavy topics, um, but I do enjoy reading from the different perspectives here. I would give this book a four stars. Definitely would recommend you check this book out. Um, I think it has a little bit of everything for everyone. And um, I like that the some of the scenes weren't like too explicit either. So um, yes, love this book, recommend. Um, even though again, there are some triggering topics that I didn't agree with. However, overall, good book. Like always, please let me know your thoughts. Did you like this book? Did you like this book? Who is your favorite character? Please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Happy reading.